Hi Scouts, it's Mrs. Bertfa from Rainbow Council, Pack 256 in Shorewood, Illinois. And today I've got William, a Bear Scout here to help me. And we're gonna teach you guys how to do paper plate weaving. Hold it up nice and straight. The items that you need to do this project today is one paper plate, one pair of scissors, and you may need to ask for help, and yarn. I'm using six colors today, but you need at least two so you can make ring rings around your centers. Um, I use just Walmart Great Value pa brand paper plates, nine inch size, and I used six colors of yarn because I like water. We kind of went with a water theme with my colors. Okay, go ahead, put it down. You can go ahead and hold up the next one. The neat thing about this craft is it works your dexterity. It is a skill in performing tasks, especially with your hands. So what can dexterity help you with? Writing, sewing, playing string instruments, rock climbing, table tennis, baseball, basketball, and archery. Okay, so the first step that we have to do, go ahead, hold your sign up so everybody can see it and then we'll show it. You need to cut out an odd number of small slits around the outside of the paper plate. And you'll notice we started, it says, make sure there's an odd number or it won't work out right. Try for 15 on one side or 16 on the other. Now I played with this a little bit this week and I found some interesting notes and hints that I'll share with you as we do this. Um, when I made my cuts, I tried to cut about a half of inch on each plate, but not all my sl slits are even. I liked it when I did 19 slits, nine and 10, it was easier to weave. And the more slits, the more you have to weave and it becomes a little bit more difficult to weave. Remember, this is a piece of a work of art and art is what you make it. So for step one, we have our paper plate and you can see I haven't quite finished it, but this is, this is slot, slot number 15. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and keep making these triangles. That gives me slot 16, slot 17, slot 18. Oh, this is gonna be real close. Slot 19, we're gonna have to make two little slots to make an odd number, slot 20. And then we'll make a little slot to make slot 21. And then we have an odd number of slots. So William says this looks like a sun. So you kind of want to make a sun. Right? Looks like a sun. Okay. So step two. Go ahead and get your step two sheet. We're going to take a piece of yarn and wrap it around the paper plate so it crosses in front and the yarn is parallel in the back. And then we're gonna tie that piece of yarn off in the front. I'm gonna give you a hint that we learned. If you wanna have it more centered, put a dot in the center of the plate so you can line up where the yarn crosses. A hint as well is once you start wrapping the plate, you won't be able to shift or move the yarn around it. So get it where you want before you really start. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this plate that we just cut and we're gonna take a pencil and we're gonna mark about where the center is. What's up, dude? You can put the piece of paper down. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that we go across the top, through the bottom, and then top again and back to the center. And then we're gonna bring this piece back up to where that dot is. So we're parallel on the back and then we tie in the center of the plate. All right, go to step three. Okay, hold it up nice and big so everybody can see it, helper. Starting on the side that has one more slit, we're gonna wrap the yarn around the paper plate with the plate facing up. 
The yarn wraps around the paper plate, starting with the slit on the top to the right of the previous yarn under the plate and then bring it up through the slit on the bottom left and then up and over to the right and then under and up and on the left. Keep repeating until there are no slits left. And then we're gonna tie off the yarn on the back side of the plate. So things I learned this week doing this project is, don't pull too hard on the yarn or your plate will start to fold in on itself. And make sure you have one piece of yarn per slit. If you end up with an even number of slits, you're gonna end up doubling up on a piece of yarn. So when we do this, and it says we're gonna to move to the right, and because I'm doing this backwards now, it's gonna mess me up a little bit, but that's okay. We wanna make sure that we're still crossing in that center point. So we come down and up and down. And up and down and up. So we're gonna make sure that we get a piece of yarn in every single one of those holes. And you can see it's starting to come together in the middle where we want it to. And if you do it right, every single one of your slots will have a piece of string. So then all we're gonna do is take our scissors, cut it, and we're going to tie it in the back. And we just want to tie it so it doesn't come undone and it doesn't come loose. So we're just going to kind of tie it off, make sure that everything is together. Okay. Now we're on. You've got your plate and it's ready to go. And you can see it's pretty much centered. So now we're going on to step four, right? Pick up your step four. You're going to take now another color of yarn and you can pick whatever color you want and tie it to one of the ends that's tied on the front of the paper plate, okay? I found instead of leaving my th yarn all hooked up, I actually cut five foot lengths of yarn if I did less slits or six foot lengths if I did more slits, but it's up to you how far you wanna cut your yarn. So what color do you wanna start with? You wanna do that one? Okay, so a little trick that Mrs. Burtfa does is I just do arm lengths. So I go one and I go two. And then I cut my yarn. So then, oop, watch your papers. We're gonna take this little thing that we started and I'm gonna go back to where that first knot was and I'm gonna tie this turquoise color yarn to it. Okay. And then what I want to do is tuck the end and try to tuck the knot underneath. So now I'm set to weave. All right, you ready? We're on step five, Mr. Helper. It's right there. Start from where the yarn is tied and then weave over one piece of the base yarn and then under, over, then under, over, then under, making sure that you do this higher up on the plate since the yarn gets twisted close to the center and it's hard to tell which piece of yarn comes next. Once you've woven several over and unders at the top, then pull the street string tight. If it looks like it isn't working for the first few ones, no worries, just keep going and it'll start to come together. A center will start to form. After lots of overs and unders, we'll show you what it's supposed to look like. The original color yarn slowly starts to be seen less and less. And when you have enough, are ready to switch colors over, make sure you leave enough room at the end to tie a new color onto it. Now, things I did notice was when we did this, the tighter you pull, the more compact your design will be. But if you leave it too loose, it'll start wrapping over itself. So when we start weaving, and you can see, and I start from here, we just want to do a simple over, 
and under and over and under and after I do a few I'm gonna pull it through to see what it's starting to do and I'll go over and under and over but you just kind of want to keep following and once you get it going it's going to start to look like this so you can see how I have my overs and my unders and you just keep doing it over and under and over and under you want to do this one for a little bit while I talk about the bigger one okay just keep going over and under you can see how easy it is to do so when I started with this one this one has way more slits and you can see how, mu how much tighter it is when I do it. Um, so this one I started with a light blue and now I'm onto a really nice turquoise. And you literally just have to go, and this one actually had an even number of slits so I have doubles everywhere so that makes it a little harder to do. But you just wanna make sure that you go over and under and over and under and eventually you'll get this really nice pattern going now when you get to the point that you're ready to start another color you want to leave a little bit of thread hanging off or a little bit of yarn hanging off and then you just pick another color and you tie on and then what you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure you tuck your knots under right how you doing you got it no, wait, what are you doing? Hang on. No, you're going backwards. That's okay. Remember what we said, because it's art. It can be whatever you want. Actually, you're doing really good. You just got to pull it tight. I was. Yeah, you were doing super good on that one. You just got to pull it tight. So you can see William's got his center going here really, really nicely. Okay. So do you think that's enough white? Let's show him how to do a new piece. Go ahead, let's show them step six. Hold up your sheet. So, for step six, you pick out a new color of yarn and tie it to the previous piece you were using. As you weave, make sure you push the tied ends under the yarn so, it's, so that it stays underneath your weaving. Keep it adding on new colors as you would like. When you're done, just tie that last piece off on a loop on the plate and tuck it under. And then when you're ready to display it, just cut a 10 inch piece of yarn and make a loop. You can either glue it, tape it, or tie it to the back of the plate for hanging. Just remember to be patient and have fun. So what we want to do is if you get to switch colors, what do you want to go to? You want to go to that blue? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just cut a piece of blue. We're then going to take the piece that he was just doing. We're gonna tie the knot. And then you keep on going, that's it. Just keep doing overs and unders, overs and unders. Okay, you can just snip off your little ends that are sticking out. And then you may keep weaving. Yay! Yay! So then again, when you get to here, like you're finished, and you just finish your last little bits, overs and unders, and this is probably about as far as I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna knot my last piece. Cut, tuck the extra underneath, and then I'll just take a piece of this, Make my loop. And then I'll just tie it to a loop back here. And now it's perfect for hanging. I hope you guys had fun learning how to do a paper plate weave with us. And I hope you guys try it at home. Thanks. Say bye.